Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Wai from the Desmond Wai Clinic. I'm a gastroenterologist with special interest in hepatology. So the, one of the commonest questions patients asked me was that I heard and I read from the internet that there was good medication for hepatitis B. As a matter of fact, we have, we have good medication to suppress the viruses. But why is my doctor not giving it to me? Why should the doctor have something good for happy, a treatment for happy, but he doesn't give it to me? The answer is simple. Just because you don't need the medication. Uh, so when a happy carrier needs medication, normally we treat it when they have a high viral load, when they have active inflammation, when they have liver cirrhosis or cancer of, on the liver or elsewhere. So if they don't have the above, then uh, there's probably no need to treat. As a matter of fact, most of my patients do not need happy medication. Happy medication can control the virus, drop the viral load from high to low, it cannot cure or eradicate the virus forever. So when I give a patient medication, I drop the viral load, I reduce the risk of complication in the long run. But when I stop the, the medication, the virus level will bounce back up to normal. So I told my patient, if I start treatment on you, be prepared that I may have to treat you for at least three years, sometimes even longer. Therefore, we hepatologists are very careful in determining who to treat, who not to treat. Uh, we have some guidelines as a matter of fact, most of my patients are what we call inactive carrier. They have low viral load, they have little liver inflammation, they have no cirrhosis, they have no cancer. They don't qualify according to the guideline. They don't need the medication. So if your doctor don't give you hepatitis B medication as a happy carrier, the chances are that your hepatitis B is inactive, which is a good thing. We know that inactive carriers have a lower chance of getting complications, whereas those with high viral load, those with uh, abnormal liver enzymes, those who have liver cirrhosis at higher risk. So we decided to reserve medication for these people. We know that this medication may be needed for long term. Some of them take it for 10 years for life. So uh, I don't want to commit a young patient who don't need a medicine for long term medicine. So most hepatologists worldwide will be careful to choose the patient carefully. So to answer the question, why should my doctor don't give me medication, even though there's good medication? The simple answer is, you don't need the medication properly. This is Dr. Desmond Wai from the Desmond Wai Clinic. Thank you.